It's been an eventful few months for our long-term Civic. Associate online editor Jason Udy, the Civic's original chaperone, recently moved on to the long-term Nissan Titan HD Pro 4X diesel. During its time as an orphan, the Civic was involved in a hit-and-run accident while parked on the rough streets of L. A. Suffering over $2,000 worth of damage to the driver's side rear door and fender After a few weeks in the body shop, the Civic returned in mint condition and to a new chaperone me One thing that immediately stood out on our fully loaded touring model is Honda Sensing, which is essentially a package of semi-autonomous technology Honda, however, makes no mention of semi-autonomous in any of the material I've dug up, a wise move considering the controversy Tesla endured with its autopilot system That said, the Civic can almost drive itself on a highway. It is capable of coming to a full stop and accelerating in stop and go traffic, for example, and it has a road departure mitigation system (RDMS) that applies mild steering torque to keep the Civic in its lane. So how does it work? Pretty well, actually, as long as the highway is mostly straight. Our DMS gives up fairly easily on prolonged curves or dicey lane markings. And it will only steer for about 10 seconds before relinquishing steering duties back to the driver. Overall, the semi autonomous steering systems offered by Tesla, Mercedes Benz, and Volvo are more robust. The adaptive cruise control works fine, though I wish the gap between me and the car in front were a tad closer At 65 miles per hour, the system leaves about 3 to 4 car lengths of space between me and car in front, this is basically a huge invitation for L Aid drivers to cut you off. And that's exactly what happens. Oh, and the upside, the system reacts, braking and re accelerating, fairly quick to those situations. Aside from that, Honda sensing is pretty impressive. It seems like it was only yesterday when we were marveling over the semi autonomous tech that made its debut in the luxurious Mercedes Benz S Class. And just a few years later, you can now have it in this sensible Civic